It's 823 on AM Tampa Bay, and we're joined now by Representative Blaze Ingolia to uh, bring us up to speed here on the final stretch with the uh, early voting coming to an end on Sunday, and then, of course, Election Day on Tuesday. And um, it seems right now that it's pretty well a toss-up as far as all the polling data is concerned. We got him here. Hey, guys. Good morning. How are you? Oh, good morning. I was just saying, according to polling data and everything, it seems to be almost a toss-up, particularly here in Florida. Yeah, anybody who says that it's not going to be close in Florida clearly hasn't been paying attention to political races in the state of Florida. We are notoriously close. So the polling is showing what we've been seeing all along is that this race is tight. I will say that, and I'm not just saying this because I'm a Republican, but I'm saying this uh, because I look at the data every day. I would much rather be Donald Trump this morning than Joe Biden in the state of Florida. Who do you think will be leading Florida going into Election Day? I Leading as in the vote? Based on early have, voting and everything, everything that you know, we've seen, early voting numbers have been massive. Right. They've been massive, but we are still behind Democrats in the total of votes cast. I expect us to close that gap. So it may be that when we get the first um, uh, results, which are usually absentee and early, Biden may be up a little. But I'm predicting that because of the huge surge of our super voters that still have to vote and will vote on Election Day, we will surpass uh, Biden and Trump will win by roughly, my guess, is in between 80 to 100,000 votes. Yeah, but, of course, the important thing is going to be the Electoral College. Yeah, 29 electoral votes for the state of Florida. Um, that's why we are the biggest, most diverse swing state. We're the prize. You cannot win the presidency without winning the state of Florida. So uh, everyone get out there and vote. If you have an absentee ballot that you've requested, it is no longer time to put it in the mail. It will not get back on time. Walk it in to any early voting location or get to the polls on election day. It's that important. Uh, one other thing here, too, is it seems now Hunter Biden, they're saying, is under criminal investigation, according to the FBI. In fact, we've now learned that this investigation began in 2019 on alleged money laundering, and it's something that's been ignored by the mainstream media totally. I mean, this whole issue has been ignored totally by them, and now the FBI is doing something about it, and I wonder if that's going to have any impact come Tuesday. I think it will. I think it will have impact. We know that in other states, people have been researching how to change their vote. Um, I think it will definitely have an impact here, especially with the small float of persuadable, undecided voters that have still yet gone to the polls. But it isn't amazing how the media has just turned a blind eye to this. But they will have no problems reporting something like, you know, my cousin's second grandmother's cousin's person who met somebody in a, in, a, in a Walmart overheard Trump say something, and that becomes a news story for the day. But when something as important and significant as this, the media is absolutely silent. And we know that 95 percent of all the media contributions from media executives go to the Democrat Party. I personally think, just like Trump, just like Ronald McDaniel, RNC chair, think that you should, this should be an in-kind contribution to the Democrat Party. It's political malfeasance. It's journalistic malfeasance. They want one person to win, and it's clear and obvious. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And we've seen here with the Tampa Bay Times never been any mention of the Hunter Biden stories. And Of course not. Yeah. Of course not. They do not want to cast their candidate in any bad light because they have one agenda, and that is to defeat Donald Trump. But Donald Trump has done wonders. He's done more, and it's not just a talking point. He literally has done more in 47 months than Joe Biden has in 47 years. Well, no doubt. And uh, apparently Paul Tash and the people at the Tampa Bay Times editorial board want to turn this into a socialist country, and that's what they're working on. But Representative Blaze Ingolia, we appreciate your joining us on AM Tampa Bay this morning. Anytime. Have a great, have a great day, gentlemen. It's 8.28.